Hydroponics at Home for Beginners. To build a home hydroponic system, you will first need to acquire a storage tote tub. These can be acquired at any Walmart, Kmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot, or anywhere storage items are sold. The most important thing about buying your tote tub is you'll need to make sure that it has a smooth flat top on it. This is very important for applying the net pots to your system. The tote tub that we will be using is an 18 gallon tote. The net pots that I am using for this tote tub are 3.75 inches in width. They will need to be that large at least to plant peppers and or tomatoes which is what we'll be planting in this, this hydroponic system. These net pots I acquired on eBay for about a dollar a piece for 25 of them plus ship. Also you will need to acquire two aquarium stones. These are 12 inches each. You'll need one. I'm building two of these systems together. You'll need one for each bottom of each tote tub. I got these for four dollars a piece. The air pump I also acquired on eBay uh, after paying the shipping I believe it was fifteen dollars. It is a uh, dual port system meaning it has two external ports. Here you can see the ports. This is how I was going to lay out the top with the neti pots. They're upside down and arranged in the rows that I want. This is going to be an 11 net pot system. Next I will use a sharpie to draw out where the neti pots make contact with the lid so I'll know where my holes need to be. You'll do this for all the neti pots on the lid. Next I will take one neti pot and trace an outline on a plain white piece of typing paper. I will do the same to draw an outline of the top. I'll take a pair of scissors and cut out the circle. Now I want to find the dead center of this circle. I'm going to fold it twice. Once half and then another half. So it's a quarter. Snip out the tip and that will be your dead center. You can see here the hole. Next I'll place it on the circles I've made and make a little small mark so that I can use a compass to make an interior circle. There's the dead center of the circle and you do this for all the neti pot holes. Next I'm going to use a compass. I kind of had to rig it on there because the sharpie was too big and draw an inner circle about a half inch inside the outer circle. First I started using uh, a razor blade to cut out the holes and it proved to be quite tedious. So next I used a cutting tool that I acquired at uh, Harbor Freight. It worked very fast but it uh, was kind of sloppy. As you can see here it's not exactly perfect circles. You'll do this for all the holes. Next I came back with the razor blade and smoothed out the edges. Then you're going to make slit cuts from where the inner circle was to the outer circle. This is so the neti pot will be supported by the half inch lip and will support the net on the lid while it's draped into the nutrient solution. You'll need to do this for all 11 neti pot holes. Next I bent the tabs downward so the neti pots fit snug in place. Here you see all 11 neti pots as the way they're going to look in the tote tub. Next I acquired a shipping pallet and some 1 inch by 8 foot fur strips. I cut them in half to make them all in 4 inch length, or 4 foot lengths, I'm sorry, for a support structure for the plants as they grow. To fill the neti pots, I'm going to use pea gravel that I picked up at Lowe's um, this bag here cost four dollars. Here you can see the support structure that I built using the one inch fur strips by four foot and this is how the uh, hydroponics are going to be set on top of it and this will be out in the yard for so we can get sunlight. 
and as the plants will grow the, you can trellis them up onto the support structure. The fertilizer nutrient system that you're going to use is very important. You need to make sure that you get a uh, plant food that is has micronutrients. That is very important. Um, here I'm using Pete's Professional 202020 and it also has the micronutrients because the plants will need all the other the barium, the iron, sulfates, everything that it's going to need to grow because you're using the water as the delivery system for the nutrients. Once we got the support structure set in place we put the tubs on top and we started to fill them up with water from the garden hose. Now as uh, something I did notice that as we were filling the tote tubs up that the sides of the tote tub started to bulge out. As you can see here where the lid is versus where the lid of the tote tub is and it bulging out with the water being filled up. This created a problem because the top would not perfectly seal on top of the tote tub. Now here you can see the nutrient solution that the plant food we've added to the water turned it a nice blue color. We had to add a half of a tablespoon per gallon so we measured it out for 18 gallons per tote tub and as you can see here here is the uh, aquarium air pump tubing I ran through a little small hole that was already naturally into the tote tub and going down into the solution to aerate it aeration is very important for your plant roots here's the air pump I put it on a top of a stepping stone behind the system I will cover it later with a dish pan to keep the rain off of it so it makes it waterproof now when you're putting your plants into the neti pot you will want to wash off the root balls of all dirt do it gently so that you don't disrupt the, the root systems and once it gets fully cleaned you want to place the plant dead center of the neti pot and add pea gravel in around it you'll have to do a lot of estimation here the tote tubs we solve the problem by using zip ties and a cordless drill we drilled holes through the lid and into the side lip of the tote tub and then ran zip ties through it this was a two person operation one was to hold the lid while the other one drilled and zipped the plants as you place them into the nutrient solution will need to be at least one inch submerged into the water so that the water can make contact with the neti pot wick up into the pea gravel into the root system so the root system will come grow outside of the neti pot and down into the nutrient solution you have to make water contact with the neti pot that's very important there is the air pump the aquarium air pump with a dish pan on top of the air pump that's sitting on top of the stepping stone and I put a brick on top of it so that the wind won't blow it off so that waterproofs the pump and we just got a good three day rain here torrential rains and it did not get wet here's the back of the system showing the uh, air pump tubing going into the tote tubs and here's what they look like one week later the pepper plants have really taken off they have grown approximately five inches in one week I was pretty amazed at that and they are really bushing out here you can see the root systems of the pepper plants just one week later growing out of the pea gravel and the neti pot into the nutrient solution I was pretty impressed and thank you for watching